Judd, many congratulations uh, through to the final. How do you assess your performance in that match? I think it was pretty solid. It, there was um, a few ups and downs in, in the game. I think obviously it's, it's over so long that you are obviously going to have bad spells, but I was able to just sort of minimise the damage and always stay in, in the game. So I think um, from that aspect it was pretty good. I finished it off quite well as well. I was, was very happy with how I played towards the end. Must be pretty pleased to wrap it up fairly early as well. Yeah, even then I'm, st I'm still tired. So it's obviously so mentally draining to, to be playing four sessions and obviously still got another four sessions to go. So very pleased to sort of get it over the way and give myself a little break now before the final. How much do you have left in the tank mentally, physically? Hopefully enough. I think um, obviously um, still young, so hopefully I'm fit enough to sort of get through the final. And in terms of your approach to the final, it's obviously a repeat of that showdown with John Higgins, which we enjoyed many years ago. How would you compare yourself as a player back then to now? Uh, I think it's sort of a whole different player. I think um, if you looked at me back then, you probably wouldn't recognise me now. I think uh, obviously know when to turn balls down when I'm not playing too well and just sort of dig in when I can. I think that's my safety's been a lot better this season and that's probably the, the main reason why I've done so well. What sort of memories do you draw from that final? I remember the atmosphere. It was a really special atmosphere, wasn't it, with the crowd? Do you sort of remember that well? Yeah, I hope it gets close to that kind of atmosphere. I think, obviously, it's important against John to sort of um, get off to a good start. You don't want him getting too confident. But even then, you know how tough it is to, to get over the line against him. Um, you've seen that against Dave. So I think I'm under no illusion how hard it's going to be to beat him. I think... Um, I've, I've had leads against him in the past and he, he just always manages to dig it out so I'm going to have to go out there and probably play the best I've ever played. Do you see yourself as the favourite? I know you're the bookies odds on favourite. No, I think I think in um, everyone's head John's probably the, the true favourite. In his own head he's probably massive favourite as well. I think obviously he's he's been there, done it. I think under pressure he's proved how good he is. His record against me says that he's going to beat me so I think everyone leads, everything leads with John Higgins' win. <laughs> If you do win the title, though, of course, you would be the first player to make a million pounds. But does that even cross your mind when you have the chance to lift that trophy? That's surely what you're focusing on, I would guess, more than anything. No, I think um, I'd give everything I've won this season to win that trophy. That shows a level of determination, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, um, obviously, in the, in, in the past, I think I'd probably say differently. But now I'm at the age where um, to win that trophy for, for me and my family would mean everything. Do you feel you have to win it now? Do you feel this is your best opportunity? No, I think um, my best years are still ahead, hopefully. I think um, I'm still learning every day as a player. I'm still at an age where I've got a chance to sort of improve my game and I think hopefully in, in, the, in the future I can get better, but I think this is uh, obviously a, a good a time as any. Would it be extra special? You mentioned your family there, but obviously you've been working with your brother, haven't you, Jack, as well? He's with you here. I mean, it would be special, wouldn't it, to have him in your corner while you do it? Yeah, I think... Um, to, to win the Masters in sort of the, f the first six months he moved down was incredible, but to win the world as well would just show the how big a, a part he's played in sort of my, my sort of turnaround this, this season, the best season of my career. I think it would just go to show how important it is to have someone like that in your corner. We wish you well. Thank you. George, when you think back to 2011 now, would you have been surprised if someone had told you then it would take you eight years to get back to a world final? You probably would, yeah. I think um, when you're younger and how I was playing, um, so much confidence back then, I, you, you kind of, well, I certainly felt that it would be a lot easier to get back. So I think the the period is, is gone to, to get back there. I now appreciate how hard it is to, to get to the world final. Do you have any regrets about 2011 and is, is there anything that you would take from that now going into this final? I think if I um, played how I did in the World Final or, or, or sort of did that when I was 29, I'd be disappointed. But I think I was so young, I didn't know any any better. I think um, you, you have to sort of grow up in snooker. I think um, nowadays is sort of a, an older man's game again. And I think you don't really peak nowadays till maybe your, your early 30s. Um, so I'm still in snooker terms, I've got a lot of improving to do, but I think um, the way I've sort of managed to turn it around this year and just sort of dedicate myself, I'm very happy with that. John's been talking about the schedule at times of the final, saying two's too late for a 7pm start. Uh, what do you think? Is that enough time between sessions? 
Um, I think it was all right for him when he won four times, wasn't it? So I think um, it's, it's the same same for both players. I think you can um, you can you can pick a fault with everything in the World Championship, and it's the best tournament in the world. I think you you're playing first to 17, and, and the drama you get 17, 16, 18, 17 all the time. I think nothing probably needs to be changed in the World Championship. It's perfect how it is. No, I think um, obviously you can look at it like that, and you can look at it as you another win. I think um, I'm I'm going to go out there. My my record's not great against him, but I've got um, the the self belief to to get through it. I, I really believe that I can give him a good game, and I think um, from watching other other people, if I put myself in in their position, I, I think I could put him away. But um, John is probably the the second or third best player of all time, so to to beat him in a world final would be incredible. Was it easy to get over the first world title loss because you were so young, or has that sort of played on your mind lots of things? No, I, d I don't ever ever think about it. I think um, uh, at that age, I was very happy to to get to the final. I think um, I was so young, I didn't really know what was going on. I think at that point, so I think um, at this age, um, it would be nice to go out there and enjoy it. Is it sort of the perfect story to get it back over John, having lost the first one? It'd have been it'd be nice to be in the final against anyone. I think um, it'd have been nice to to play world number 128 in the world in the final. But I've got John Higgins, so uh, it's go, it's going to be so tough to beat him. You know, everyone knows how how good he is and the, the performance he showed when he wasn't playing his best against Dave Gilbert. I think I'm going to have to be at my best or similar how I played in the Masters final.